Good morning, YouTube. I want to show you a project I have going on. I might be biting off more than I can chew. I'll turn the camera around here and show you what I'm talking about. So, this tree is on our property line. And I can't tell you quite how tall it is. Let's back that camera up a little bit. So this is a six foot fence. So I don't know if that thing is a hundred feet tall or bigger. But let's go, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's go to the back here and I'll show you what I started. And this was an eight acre orchard beside us and they decided to uh, sell it so they did two years ago and then with COVID it set empty for a year they knocked down the orchard and then it just sat and now they've been doing some work on it but I don't know if it's because of permits or what they uh they got in a bunch of like water lines, sewer lines, electrical lines, and then it's been sitting for, I think, three weeks. But here's the tree, and I've started whittling away on it. You can see all the debris on the ground here. What I'm doing, this is a pile of the branches, the bigger ones I've cut off. I've hauled, I think, three trailer loads of the smaller stuff to my buddy's house because he will... Just put it in a pile and let it turn back to earth eventually. Let's see if we can back up here. It's probably hard to see with the sun, but what I've been doing is cutting off branches. I guess they're more like tree trunks. Anywhere from two to three inches on up to a foot. And I'm whittling away on the tree. And in the middle of the tree there you can see I'll get up closer. There are some really big trunks. It's like having three or four big trees all grown together. I guess this is a poplar tree, but you can see at the bottom there. Some of those are almost three foot across. But we get a lot of wind out of the Northwest. And if all goes well, as I cut them off, it's gonna fall out here into this field, which is what it's been doing so far, like that one there. And then I cut them into small pieces like this. I throw them in my trailer over there, which is five by eight. I, I, I try to keep them eight foot or less. Haul them over to my buddies, throw them there, and then this pile I'm gonna advertise as firewood. Somebody can either cut it up or I'll cut it up and then I'll have to sell it because I'm not just going to spend all that time and uh, give it away. And what I'm doing this with is that saw right there. I bought it on Amazon. It's an electric chainsaw and it works really good. Right now it has a really nice sharp blade. I used to do a lot of cutting of trees, and it really helps to have a sharp blade. Otherwise, you spend a lot of time. Here's a peek inside the tree at the base of it. Wow, I never realized it. Those are just all grown together in the middle. I may just have to attack the top and end up with a big stump to pull out later. But that is one big tree. I'll uh, post some other videos. I'm going to try to do a video of me cutting off one of these branches. And then uh, eventually, oh, there was one there that I cut yesterday and I was going to go up with the rope. I never got it done. I think it already fell off last night with the wind. It's probably laying out there. I'll cut it up. Anyway, uh... I thought about hiring somebody to do it, but they would want thousands of dollars to come in here and do this. 
So it's got a accumulation of about 50 years of leaves stuck up in the branches, dead branches. At one time there was a squirrel or two living in the tree and they still might be here someplace. But every time you cut down a branch, you see that pile of thing of leaves there? It's like a huge rat's nest. They come falling down on your head if you're in the wrong place. But I kind of enjoy it and little by little, I'm gonna bring this tree down. I wanna do it before they build the houses because then it'll be a lot more difficult because they'll probably put a fence in all the way around the property and there'll be other stuff that'll be in the way. So now is the time. Wow, that thing is big. Hey, y'all have a good day.